here we are another series for you guys I know I usually love early game I love starting at the beginning and setting up but today we're gonna start from mid game I've been playing uh, frosty planet pack and we got a lot of things that we've been doing here these bonbon trees they give you nectar they have um, liquid output ports that you can pipe pipes to and you use the nectar to create plastic which is cool because before that we were doing a lot of hunting for Dreco's turning them into smooth Dreco's and skinning them sharing them for the plastic but or you could have went down to the crude oil and convert to petroleum and then make plastic. This is a different way. I think a better way. So this is mid game. I've been in it for a minute. When I say mid game, it's, it's beyond the first two research stations and we're pushing to radiation. We have our food under control. We have our oxygen under control. In the planet pack with the frosty, uh, with the frosty uh, situation in your core, we really had to go with the alveo vera plants and send them at the bottom of the plant and pretty much collect our carbon to create the oxalite that we needed to breathe. No water, so it took a lot of cycles to get to the point to be able to have water. We have water now. There's so there's an abundance of ethanol, so we're sparingly using it because we don't want to fill our base with carbon, right? So it's it's a very methodical balancing act that's being done here. Even things like our um, carbon skimmer that we love to use, you need water for that. You see all this oxygen? Spawn was made, but the spawn was made after the water was um, sourced. So we went down, we went down, we went down. We, we I found a polluted um, water geyser, and that was it. That was the turning point. So as you can see, this water is polluted, but I have a room full of chlorine that is cleaning the water. Zero germs in this water. This is the water that's going up into the base. Using this system, the water filters through and circulates through those reservoirs in a room full of chlorine, and it won't go to the base until it's clean see now we're trying to get a secondary source of water that won't be polluted with the with the um, salt water guys are here these guys these guys are godsend like they've really changed the game and made it more like the original game because in the early game in frosty planet there's you're melting ice with wood to just use the machines it's ridiculous so as you can see there, I got the polluted water situated and I'm about to make a saline um, plant over here just for more water. We're gonna dig that out and we're gonna start sourcing this uh, salt water for the base. You know, it's a lot of, oh, oxygen not included, but when you don't have water, it's just as dangerous. I'm realizing that with this update. I don't know what they're gonna do if they ever try to do like a desert, hot, sandy um, expansion. I think that might be cool. I still wanna press forward on automation. See how they all run here and they're working on it? I like that. And, but that's only possible when they're not busy with so many errands right so we're, we're building the new infrastructure for the salt water it was crazy like the, the 
alveo vera plants were the only thing keeping us alive we didn't really have a food issue because the the pike the pike apple like pineapple things they grow in abundance they don't need much right and our warmth we just needed a mammoth some mammoth skins everybody has a coat so we were functioning right a little bit better they're able to do more they don't have to stop to shiver or go to the fireplace to warm up as much and that's what you want to do you want efficiency from your dupes they need a level of comfortability and uh it was a wrap once i got the water in here it really helped with the oxygen and now the base is fully compressed with oxygen and i was able to move the oxygen into more and more areas then boom showers upgraded our bathroom like these things just came as we moved into uh we moved into uh mid game i don't think i don't think getting uh our radiation going for um, mid to end game is going to be as difficult because i've already um, identified the wheeze wards and i have you know a build that i use for the radiation with two of these warts um, in a control location with a little bit of plastic to guard from the um, radiation and then uh, the, the research could be done there's a couple of key things we need in the research three and then what we need to start doing is moving north into uh, to the surface that's that's end game really we still haven't located the teleportation pod for the sister planet i think we found only one of the resource delivery um, stations so there's still a lot to find on this um, asteroid To this guy, look at him. Sometimes these dudes are not the smartest. I'll tell you that. When you first start in the snowy planet um, DLC and you have that icy center, you don't realize you don't have any granite sandstone any of that thing at your disposal so you end up building with ice right ice blocks and it's ridiculous because over time your base heats up and then the blocks start melting right so my advice is as soon as possible dig out past beyond the center and get you some granite get you some igneous rock and replace your core base with actual building blocks and not ice blocks because they will fail you you see how the the circle is going i got a little um hop over and the water circulating through all four of those reservoirs and there are like when i initially did it 10 million um germs was in the water and because of the chlorine you just watch that number drop it took it took a couple minutes and it was down to nothing so i was like it's pretty cool coming straight out the geysers about five million um, um germs i guess per square you know per whatever can be held in each square and so a lot of germs 
I don't know. I, I might need to consolidate the ethanol. But this first bit that I've been using, it's been doing pretty good. It's almost done though. All right? There's a meteor shower happening. But we're nowhere near the the top yet. We haven't gone to the bottom either. This this um this map is huge. So as I work on the decor, as you can see my dupes, they're in the teens in the twenties. As far as the morale, that's the showers. I set up a great hall, that's a plus six. They have five breaks in the day in their schedule, that's plus four. So they're really, they have a lot of headspace. So these dupes can be super dupes to have all the skills that's needed to run a base. When I move to end game, I'm definitely gonna push from eight to 12. And the, the, the final four, I'm gonna make them, uh, what do you call it? Pilots and like suitable for space travel. You know, chill, uh, not so ornery or whatever, easy going. Because being out in space in that, that place is very stressful. Alright. We got a sand on the on the blocking us. There we go. Might as well wall that off. Right there, yeah. We don't need to do any of that. We really need to just dig in and let it fall. That's later. We, we just need to dig out and make space for the oxygen and let the oxygen push down that little bit of chlorine let me let you know the chlorine is so abundant down here because i was such in a struggle no water but when i got down here i saw a bunch of rust so you know how we always use the electrolyzer the electrolyzer uses water and it separates the hydrogen from the oxygen and boom we get oxygen with a little bit of hydrogen well the rust there's another machine that's like the electrolyzer in the oxygen tab that uses rust instead of water and what it does is it puts out a little a, lot, a little less oxygen than the electrolyzer and a bunch of chlorine right so i was I was trading oxygen for chlorine and I had two of them. I had them one up in the base up top because my uh, alveo vera plants, I didn't set them to a high priority like a seven or an eight. So they weren't being fertilized, fertilized with ice so they can eat the carbon and make um, oxalite for the base. So I was supplementing the oxygen with rust, which was putting chlorine into the air. And I had it right next to the ladder. So, and it's heavier than oxygen. So it would sink down here. And eventually the, this whole area where you see the polluted water, you became full of chlorine. So what happened was I end up having to use a filter, pump it into a into a reservoir. That's what you see to the left of the polluted water. That's what that is. That was the chlorine I was removing from this area so they could breathe, right? And then once I got the water going, I said, wait a minute. 
fill a room up with chlorine with some reservoirs and we can remove the um, food poisoning germs from the polluted water once we sieve it. And so it all kind of came together. So this chlorine is a, a remnant from the rush shenanigans, right? And there's a there's a little bit of bleach stone here as well, but mainly it was me with the rust desperately looking for oxygen. In this update now, they they really made food easier and they really wanted to stress us out about <laughs> oxygen. So here, this this um, ethanol petroleum generator is doing the heavy lifting of power. And um, I'm, I added a fourth transformer to send it on down. And this has been a time just trying <laughs> to figure out the wires, right? So. That's what I've been doing, moving some wires, rearranging them to make space for hopovers. So we can get one more line down there for the saline sieve, you know, desalinator. We've been working on our decor. We're getting more green areas and removing all of this red. A lot of it is just debris on the floor. So, we need some storage, but we got to make sure that the storage is um, designated properly, right? No liquefiables in spaces where we don't want things to melt and we don't want the polluted stuff to off gas polluted gas. So we have to submerge those in liquid. That's why you see the storage right there in the polluted uh, water outlet. That's for any rotten food, polluted um, dirt. It'll just sit in there and slime. So all of my storage outside have those unchecked. Because we have water now, you see we have a, we have a carbon skimmer the carbon skimmer did quick work of any carbon the carbon had gotten so high it was at the printing pod level of the base i was struggling all right but water saved the day you see this little pocket of ethanol it was a little bit higher we've been using that but right below it there's more over to the um right there's even more so we're not in danger of ever. Plus, there's these little pointy seal that's over there by the bonbon trees. I'm gonna start making a stable for them and they eat bonbon trees and they secrete ethanol a lot. So we almost have like a endless supply if I could ever get a ranch going with those seals. Also, that's in, in end game, mid game. Once we start getting our radiation um, station working, we're gonna be able to research the deep fryer. And the deep fryer is you use seal fat, tallow, right? And you're able to make nutrient rich, like french fries and another thing you see right here. I'm having to like use make ladders and kind of circumvent the spine that I initially had because it's just too much. And so this this third line of power, I got three going down because there's so much of my infrastructure down there, and then I have one going up for the researching and the stuff up at the top of the base and instead of putting it to the left i put it to the right just in case i need to put another transformer 
because this ethanol is strong enough, right? And it's crazy. I used to put like a million batteries connected to the smart battery, but this 20,000 kilo, um, kilowatts that the, the smart battery is sustaining everything. And then when it cuts on, when it's low, at uh, below 20%, the ethanol um, generator cuts on and instantly is full again. And I'm like, this is way more efficient. I don't, I don't need to worry about the heat emitting from a whole array of batteries. I still, I'm not sure if it's the better solution, but quiet is kept. It's been doing what it needs to do without any hiccups. So, so there goes the power for the pump and the, the salinator. I'm starting to make it. We're really getting ready to push to, through radiation, get up to the surface, and uh, start collecting our metals. We're down here in the heat. We might start to have to make a metal refiner in the heat. I really hope down at the bottom we have some some crude oil because if we do, it's gonna that's gonna supercharge our our um, going into space. So fingers crossed, there's oil at the bottom of this um, map. If not, it's probably on the sister planet. So either way, that'll either be our oil production or down here. I'm hoping it's here. You see how on these I take off rotted and polluted and liquefiables and bleach stone. We don't want them emitting anything. We just want to clean up the area for the core mostly. Oxygen. It's filling up this area and they're able to work without all these extra breaks because they're oh my eyes chlorine get out of here we got work to do I'm not sure but I think I've added a plumber I know I've added a demolisher we only need one of each Let's go up one. This doesn't need a light. It doesn't need a person. Just, yes. rooms come together. We need a reservoir tank. Initially, I was going to make a, a basin down here. It's too hot. I'm just going to put them in the tanks and then ship it up top. You really got to be careful when you're building these spaces that they don't lock themselves inside. Dupes will be duping. So we got our powers. When we get the refining, we're gonna have, we're gonna replace a lot of this with um, the conductive wire. Instead of having three lines going down, I'll be able to consolidate two into one, running through walls, and have a cleaner base. You see up here, bonbons. There's also the seals up here. Oh, we got a lot of nectar in that line. We can start making plastic. 
the nectar is not as uh, abundant like the conversion from nectar to plastic is like three kilograms of nectar for it might be one to one i'm not sure but it, it takes the trees forever at, at least the naturally grown ones to produce nectar i might want to take the time to cultivate an actual bonbon tree grove yeah i only got 40 kilograms and about three of these dots disappear before i get another 30 so each dot is 10 kilos c70 so it's one to one it's just i guess the nectar takes forever to be produced and, it, and these trees take up uh, a three by three space so it's not like i could stack them right a little bit of steam turns into ice because this area is still extremely cold carbon gets let out of the machine up top i don't need this power on all the time kind of sharing on this line with the crusher and uh, what else a couple of uh, big body machines and it's funny because um, you start out with 20,000 kilos of, um, of wood I think 20,000 is like 20 tons. Ran through that initially, right? I had to get a flock branch going, feed them the 67 flock that I had. Jeez. Uh, achievements. The flocks have replenished my wood. Uh, surplus but we're kind of off of wood for the most part I might start using it for decor for their individual rooms because come to find out wood tiles gives a good decor buff like innately so they might have some custom wood cabins see the little seals down there pissing out ethanol and the thing is, I had to, I had to kind of move them because they can put so much ethanol out that they'll submerge the plants, kill the plants. And these plants aren't like the previous ones. If they get submerged, they don't just get stifled. They get uprooted and killed, and then they're a seed again. And so if you're using natural plants, you'll lose the plant. You'll have to plant, replant it. So I have... I had four natural, but as you can see, the bottom left one got submerged and I lost it. So I end up having to actually plant that one. So on that one, I have to feed it fertilizer, which is ice, I think. And the other three, I don't. They're natural. They just they just need light. Ice is not bad, and now the uh, ice maker can make ice and snow. So, if you're in a pinch and you've lost all of your coal biome, you might be able to create what you need. But I don't think it's uh, it's probably worth the squeeze. The juice is not worth the squeeze. I mean. Those reservoirs? Yes. Get rid of these ladders.
we're building out a bunch of infrastructure. Like, we're really future proofing. This is really cool. Our oxygen is pretty stable. Our water is pretty stable. Um, we just were working on the bases, the core. So wherever they move, they don't get the debuffs because they're heavily burdened with skills. So we need their morale to stay as high as possible. That's showers, that's good food, that's uh, individual beds eventually get that buff going. I gotta figure out where I'ma put their bedrooms. The original barracks can be about four. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. No. We need at least um, 24 spaces. So, that's really just two bedrooms. I'll find a spot and just create 12 luxury uh, bedrooms maybe up top because we're going to have to go up higher anyway right so I annex a space above create the bedrooms and then above that I create a, a airlock with some suits maybe and then we can head up top to the surface yeah Sounds like a plan. These um, Alveo Vera plants, when I head down to the bottom, I might bring them with me. Even though I don't really need them, I could just use a carbon skimmer. They're really necessary in early game. There's no other option. You have to learn how to use them. You have to implement them. You have to plant as many as you can. Consolidate them to the bottom of your base. All of the random ones in random places, excavate them, uproot them, and put them at the bottom of your base where you usually put your skimmer. Dig up your hole and plant at least three per dupe. tempted to mess with the ethanol early that's dangerous because of how much carbon the petroleum generator puts into the air you would flood your base with carbon in a, in a couple seconds Playing this uh, this seed with uh, two of my friends, and it's funny because we all have like different methods, different mindsets, and like reckless. He he actually isn't reckless. Like he's very methodical, and the the filtering of the water with the uh, germ sensor that was his idea but though he's adventurous he's crazy he's the more reckless one and a lot of uh the spaces like the geysers that were found he found them he found the polluted geyser he found the saline geyser so he's out like a scout heading out while his base is in disarray and Reckless's base is automated and automatic and healthy and stuff. It's crazy. I'm somewhere in the middle. I use uh, their information from both of them and I kind of like 
create what I would what I feel is the best scenario. Yeah, we need those incubators. Conductive wire coming soon. We need the refinery. I hate it because um when I first started playing this. I destroyed a couple bases by cooking up metal right in the middle of it, right above my water source. Not thinking that I'm dumping tons of heat into my main water source, which is going to hold the heat for multiple cycles. Like, multiple. It never cooled down. Right? It's like, this is one of those mistakes you make. You can't unmake it's best that you just don't do it in the first place. You know. As you can see, everybody's <laughs> responsible for everything. There's a lot of headroom, but I'm not ready to just push it to the max. I'm gonna have to expand the kitchen because I need that deep fryer in there. All right. There's no real need. We got 140,000 calories. I'm putting this hospital in. This hospital is specifically for going down to the bottom and dealing with lava, oil, and things like that. I'm glad I'm showing you guys mid-game because um, almost every one of my other series has been early game. Early game is fun. It's like, ooh, what are we going to do? How are we going to set this up? But you get to a point where, all right, radiation, okay, metal, refined metal, and you have to set some things up, and it's a hump that you got to get over once you get over it it feels like the beginning again okay and your world opens up and you you're figuring out the next move the next step what what's your next ambitious project and you know like Doe says it feels like it never ends when you accomplish one thing you start thinking and building and preparing for the next and it just keeps going and going and going As you can see, these were on eight. I'm bringing them back down to a reasonable number because they're really not in use. And we don't want our dupes wasting their time focusing on plants that's not doing anything. So I gotta kinda jigsaw these, these pipes. It doesn't seem like it, but it's still extremely cold most places. And so if you notice, I've had a lot of pipes damaged because I was using regular pipes. And it's like, oh, I need to use insulated, okay. Down here is warm, so it's not that much of an issue, but it's like, I might as well stick with the insulation. Selling around the bottom, up top. Don't go there, they won't be able to reach. That little piece.
That's just too tall. Okay. That's fine. It's been so long. Their building skills is up. Not just from them building all this time, but also for me putting the points in. So it's like boom, 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 boom. They make this. At the beginning, it takes forever for them to make one ladder. It's crazy. Um, we're going to continue this series all the way through to space travel. And that's the end game, right? So. Getting these pipes going. And then the last reservoir. We'll go up to the base. We gotta figure that out. We gotta start carving out that. Yeah, put some stores, throw the sand right there so they don't gotta hunt all over the base to find the sand that they need for the filtration. It's all about efficiency, man. Yep, doing good. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, we're gonna lay the groundwork to get this processed water up to the top i think i'm gonna have a, a heat issue but we'll figure that out once we get there there's so much cold up there but i don't want to destroy the cold and then have a, a a base that's dealing with all the heat so gotta be very careful it's fun though we'll figure it out Peace. Peace.